You ever sit down to study and you find yourself constantly checking your phone every five minutes? I've been there myself, and honestly, I feel like it's getting even harder as our brains keep getting wired for more and more distraction. But there is good news. There's a way to fight this by creating a more effective study routine. Hi, I'm Andrew with Brainscape, your ultimate study weapon. And I know you've probably heard a million times that you need a better study routine, but let's be real. Most advice out there sounds like recycled cliches from 1990s self-help book. I'm going to tell you the truth. Building a productive study routine doesn't have to be a chore. You could apply some basic and free cognitive science to make it much, much easier to crush your goals without burning out. For starters, you could figure out what time of day that you tend to study best. For me, I'm a night owl, so I can soak up that sweet, sweet knowledge between the hours of midnight and 3 a.m. and I'll be totally fine. But other freaks of nature out there somehow work best in the early morning, channeling that sunrise energy or something into your studying while lazy asses like me are still hitting this news button. Whatever is the best for you is the time that works best with your chronotype. Of course, you might have so much to do that you really need to study at many different times throughout the day. But here's the key. Once you have a better sense of your peak productivity time, you can schedule the deep work for that time and then set up the light work for other parts of the day. For example, if you're writing a big paper, you could do all your outlining and strategizing for your argument during the peak time when your brain is sharpest. Then later, when your brain is in more of a fog, future you can just fill in the actual writing of one little section of the outline at a time in smaller increments of time that don't require as much focus. Another example is if you're studying for a test. During your peak focus time, you could spend your time making digital flashcards in Brainscape, even using AI to make them even more easily, so that that future you can just study a few flashcards at a time later on your phone when you only have a few minutes to focus at a time. The better that you're able to identify which parts of your work are gonna require longer stretches of deeper thought and which parts that you can do in just a few minutes at a time, like while you're riding a bus or watching TV or exercising, the better you're gonna be able to study. Which brings me to the next tip, which is to create a productive physical study space. If you're in a deep work session, for example, you might want that space to be something quiet and austere, like a library or your dining room table. And you're going to want to set up the environment for success in advance, like having water and healthy snacks already prepared and maybe putting your phone in a different room if you can, or if you need your phone to study, at least putting it in airplane mode or temporarily locking yourself out of social media messaging apps to avoid temptation, whatever you need to do. If you're in a light work session, in contrast, like if you're just studying your digital flashcards in the Brainscape mobile app, these things might not matter as much since the whole idea was to have prepared your light studying in advance for those five minute sessions spread throughout the day when you don't have to be as focused. Again, the most important thing is to have previously identified and separated the deep and shallow parts of your work so that you can more effectively customize the time and place that work best for each type of effort. If you like this advice, be sure to subscribe. Check out the Brainscape Academy for tons more wisdom on optimizing your learning and productivity. And of course, remember to check out the Brainscape app itself for the ultimate study weapon. Good luck out there.